Madame Toastmasters, uh, dear, dear fellow Toastmasters and guests. Americans are fed. Asian women are submissive. In Russia, girls walk on the streets. Have you ever heard of these statements from your friends or from TV? Have you? Yes, yes. You would say they are stereotypes, but some people are really sure that they can meet a bear on the Red Square. Such stereotypes are formed by somebody, and uh, most of the time they narrow your world view and they don't give anything in return. Today, I would like uh, to prove to you that breaking stereotypes and uh, prejudices um, could yield unexpected results and bring you uh, experiences that otherwise would be inaccessible to you. Let me give you my personal experience, my personal example. One month ago, ago to my own uh, astonishment, I went to Lebanon. Before traveling, I thought of um, Lebanon as a wasteland uh, destroyed by war with uh, strict uh, Muslim customs, um, little history, poor culture. And I was not alone in my beliefs. A lot of my, a lot of my friends shared them. Why this country? Are you sure it's safe? What I want to see and do there? Despite all these questions, I decided to go there. And I have torn down all my stereotypes and prejudices one by one. What is coming through your mind when you hear Lebanon? What? War. Yes, and guess what? It's a prejudice. Uh, we all have seen on TV um, Israeli-Lebanese conflicts, uh, the civil war in Lebanon. But when I came to Beirut, I saw no danger, no ruins, no military equipment, but a safe place to travel to. Of course, there are some areas in Lebanon that um, uh, tourists are advised not to go to, but most of the cities welcome you. After all, there are military conflicts in the Caucasian region in Russia. But foreigners are not afraid to come to Moscow and St. Petersburg, right? All right. There are a lot of safe places in the world, but not all of them are worth visiting. And the second thought about Lebanon that came to my mind was about Arabs. I thought women there are all dressed scarves, high necked clothes, and men wore national clothes, uh, they behave uh, harshly and violently. I was totally wrong. Lebanese people look like Europeans, like very beautiful Europeans. They um, dress uh, in common clothes, and I didn't feel that I was in an Arab country at all. Try to find uh, pictures of Miss USA 2010, and you will understand me. The name of this girl is Rima uh, Fakih, and she's from Lebanon. Most of Lebanese people are like her. They smile a lot. They uh, are very hospitable. They enjoy their lives as much as they can, uh, in spite of precious wars and prejudices. I can say for sure that uh, all stereotypes about Arabs are totally wrong, but they have definitely nothing to do with Lebanese people. A safe and uh, hospitable country is a very good start, but why would I want to go to a very small Middle East country where I had nothing to do? My last prejudice was about uh, entertaining and uh, sightseeing. I'm sure a lot of people can't even imagine, can't even think of uh, amazing things, ama amazing sights uh, to see in Lebanon. Biblos. The oldest city, the oldest inhabited city in the world, Jaita Grotta, a candidate for new seven wonders of nature, Baalbek, uh, with the, the only extant temple of Jupiter, made me uh, reassess my point of view. 
luxury nightclubs, sea and mountain activities, concerts that all my knowledge about Lebanon was nothing but one big stereotype. I found Lebanon uh, to be an amazing and uh, very interesting place and not like mass media presents it to us. Lebanon is a safe, westernized country with a lot of entertainment to offer to a tourist. I've seen it with my own eyes and now I'm sure that uh, stereotypes and uh, prejudices uh, are not knowledge shut down they pretend to be. When facing a stereotype, try to understand what is underlying this conventional public belief. Don't judge everything at a glance because uh, breaking stereotypes and prejudices uh, can help you to discover a whole new world. A lot of foreigners found out that uh, in Russia, birds live only in zoos, so you also can find something new for you.